What's going on guys, the Strong Boys 19 here. I just feel like doing a content review in honor of Tosca at the Flapper. Earlier before I started recording this video, I was looking back at the footage of Tosca from my last video and thinking about them from being quite small to become now a huge growing band and to be obsessed with their content on YouTube but in a better way to see them live in front of my own eyes. I, I, I'm very sorry, I need, I, need to, I need to stop for a bit. I'm very sorry guys, I, uh, I'm feeling a little bit emotional because I have, I've never, I've, I've never would realise at any day that I would see Tosca live because I always admired this band, you know, from what I've been hearing on YouTube and their amazing live footage from both Rabia and Ben. They, they are a huge inspiration and I'm very thrilled to have the Fire by the Silos album, um, which is seriously a must listen. It is from start to finish. Um, this is, I don't care, this is the album of the year. This is the album of the year for 2018. To see Tosca in front of my own eyes, hearing the music, it's something special. It really, really is, because I just wanted to wish the band the, the, the very best for their upcoming future events and future plans of new material. But, you know, I think Tosca is now becoming, for me, one of the best, the best bands of all time. And uh, I really, really do mean that. It's, it's really cool to see them on YouTube, but for live, it's something else. It's just an incredible experience. Axiom and, and Hyperfora were amazing, as I've said from the previous video, but Tosca's show, right from the start of um, Fire by the Silos, the title track, until the band came on the stage, it is a brilliant introduction. And they played a lot of the material on this album. If I have to pick a favourite on this album, I think it would be probably When Genghis Wakes. A Tall Order is um, a favourite of mine on here as well. And Congress. That's what the full artwork looks like. The sound was really huge. I think the guitar tone from Rabia has always been so immense it's powerful and it's just beefy the bass tones from dave's bass guitar sound so damn good it's precise and thick the drums from ben his drums just sound so damn sweet and strong they have a lot of punch and kick the musicianship was so so tight and they played the material from this album and even from the O to the Author EP with such power and confidence and it's just so damn amazing. I'm very, very pr proud and humble to see Tosca live. I know I'm stuttering, but needless to say, throughout the entire set there was a lot of flashing lights. And when the quiet bits came on on these tracks, I had to shut my eyes and, you know, feel the vibe. Powerful stuff. It's intense. It's dark. But I find some of the quiet bits to be beautiful. And um, the sound, the ambience that has been added into the instrumentation was just so good. And I find... Um, Illumo to be um, a little bit emotional on some bits and I just don't know why because I just find it that it's one of the most beautiful music that I've ever heard from, from this band and this band will be reaching for so much more exciting opportunities 
and now that I've seen them live, I would love to see them again. Hopefully I'll get the chance to meet them, but this review is just short and sweet, but, you know, I've already explained my thoughts about the whole show from Axiom, Hyperfora and Tosca from the last video, but I wouldn't see for, the, for any light of day that I would see this phenomenal band and they they are doing so so well. I'm very proud of Rabia, Ben and Dave and I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. It's a 10 out of 10 performance for Tosca and like I said Fire by the Silos is an incredible album. You need to check it out. It will get better. It will get better every time I listen to this. So thank you guys for watching and I'll keep you guys posted for more videos in the near future.